Hey everybody, today I wanted to talk about using the Tamron 24-70 G2 lens for concerts. I got to test it out last night at a concert and there was probably about four different bands that were playing. It gave me a chance to really test it out and see what the lens can do. So I just thought I'd go through a few pros and cons about the lens first. Um, the autofocus on this is excellent and it definitely keeps on par with all the other brand names, especially the big ones like Nikon and Canon. And the contrast, the sharpness, and the colouring on this is really good. The, the finished look it gives is just excellent. Things tend to pop really nicely, and that is actually a good thing to have in a lens like this, especially in concerts and stuff, because it's normally quite dark. The build on this lens is really nice and rugged, and it's really smooth, and the zoom ring, and even the focus, is just even though this focus ring is a little small, it's just it's really good, and it doesn't seem to, like, get stuck or anything, it's really smooth, it does what it's meant to do. And that's a good thing to have, to know that your lens actually works. The one thing that Tamron has really done well on this lens is the VC, the vibration control. It has just been upgraded really well. Compared to the first Tamron 2470 that they brought out, this is so much better. Uh, the VC on the other one just seemed to jitter a bit and you weren't always sure if it really locked on. It would be really mechanical looking whereas this is really smooth and you see that it's working really well so they've done a great job there and the upgrade has been pretty much excellent so to talk about a few of the cons is that it, from time to time I noticed when I took a photo uh, it looked like it was pretty much in focus and sharp but once I took the shot it slightly had just focused out as I took the shot it didn't happen much but it happened from now and then so it's not a huge thing to really worry about but it did happen from time to time but I think it was during those times where it got really dark where the lights would shut off and stuff in between um, so it's not a huge con but it is something to look out for and one thing obviously when you're using a lens in dark environments you're wanting to use it at, at its widest so f2.8 it worked but the thing was it was kind of a little bit mushy it didn't seem that sharp um, so I found myself changing to something, to a higher f-stop basically. And one more thing, it's not a huge problem, but when you're out at 24 millimeters, you kind of need to be close to your subject to get it sharp. From a distance, when it was like a wide shot, there wasn't much depth in between the, the subject and the background. So being closer really helped, but definitely when you got to around the 70 millimeter mark, or at least higher than 24 millimeters, it, it just, it did really well. Um, so I think when you're around 24 millimeters, you need to pump up your f-stops a little bit higher just to get that sharpness to come out a little bit. So that's it for the pros and cons, but you're probably just thinking, wait a minute, what about the price? Well, for the price, it's a really good lens. Um, it's cheaper than the brand names and it's around the same price as the new Sigma version, but I think this one is a little bit sharper edge to edge. Really, I think for the price, I, I would be lying if I said you shouldn't get it. Um, this is a great lens, the build quality is great, the sharpness is great, it's a pretty much all around great lens and I actually had the Nikon 24-70 non-VR version before this and that seemed really soft to me. I don't know if it was just the version I had but it didn't seem to work that well and this actually beats it. But as I was saying about the f2.8, I find myself in between uh, 3.2 and 4.5 but I definitely stuck around 3.2. It just seemed like a sweet spot for the lens and pretty much everything stayed in focus during that time. Pretty much most of my shots were shot at 3.2 and I would change it to like 4, 4 or 5 when there were a few more people that I was trying to photograph within on the stage. And it was pretty sharp that whole time. And one thing is this lens is really good at filming. Even wide open f2.8, it looked really good. The contrast was good and the sharpness was good. So, and it, because of the VC being quite good, there wasn't much shake in my camera as well and I was hand holding it while I was testing it and it just worked really well. One thing to note, I did shoot this on the Nikon D850. So my, all my shots were taken with that and same with the video as well at 4K. And it just did a really good job. Anyone would use this lens for filming and photography and it just, it's quite a good combo to have in a lens. So yeah, I just thought I would quickly talk about using this lens for concerts. I'll definitely say that it's a good lens to get and it's something that I will keep using. So if there's anything else you guys would like to know, just leave me a comment below and I'll get back to you. And I'll see you guys in the next video.